Hi guys, today I want to show you a cool UI panel I created to make my editing workflow faster and more comfortable. I'll also be uploading this UI panel to my Payhip store for free. If you want it, make sure to check the link in this video's description. You can download it for free, or choose to pay whatever you want to support the channel. Now let's get started. I'll show you why this panel is useful, and at the end of the video, I'll explain how to install it. In this panel, I've added two tabs, Layer Tools and Effects. Under Layer Tools, you'll find buttons for essential editing tasks. By clicking any of them, the layer you need is created instantly. For example let's click New Solid, and there it is, created in seconds. You no longer need to right-click in the timeline to create a new solid, adjustment layer, or text layer. With just one click, it's done. The best features in this panel are these two buttons, Frame Blending On and Off. It's simple, but it saves a lot of time. Clicking Frame Blending On enables frame blending on all layers in the composition with just one click. Normally, to enable frame blending on a clip, You'd have to open multiple precompositions to reach the original clip and enable it there. With this panel, you can click frame blending on, and it will automatically enable frame blending on all layers, no need to open any precompositions, just do it in your main one and you are done. This feature is a real time saver, especially when working with speed ramps. I've also included center anchor and align center buttons. For example if the anchor point on your layer is off, click center anchor and it will instantly center it. You can also choose a custom position for the anchor point, then click align center, and it will align the layer accordingly. To reset, just click center anchor first, then align center, and you're done. Now let's jump to the effects tab, the one where you can build your own look and add all your favorite presets in one place. Here you can already see some of the presets I use, and they're all located in my default user presets folder. Let me show you where they're saved. Here is the main UI panel file, which I'll show you how to install at the end of this video. Now let's open documents, then go to Adobe, after effects 2025, user presets, and here you'll find all your presets. I also keep my shakes and transitions in this folder, and with this UI panel, I can apply any preset in seconds. Let me show you how. By clicking on the drop-down menu, you'll see all the folders in your main presets folder. In my case, these are AM film shakes and AM film transitions. If I click on one of the folders, for example 1080p vertical, as you can see, all the presets in that folder appear. Now I can simply click on any preset I need, and it will be applied to the selected layer. If you want to apply those presets to a new adjustment layer, go to Layer Tools, click New Adjustment, and then move the adjustment layer to the desired position. Then go back to the Effects tab, select the folder you need, and click on the effect you want to apply. And there we go, we've applied everything in seconds, all from a single panel. Now let me switch back to the main folder. The main folder contains all the presets that aren't inside any subfolders in the user presets folder. Now for example, if I want to delete a preset I no longer need, simply select the file in the folder and delete it. In the panel, the preset will still be visible until you click refresh presets. And there we go, it's now deleted and no longer appears in the panel. Now let me delete all the presets from the folder, and then I'll show you how to add new presets to the folder in the panel. For example, let's apply a Lumetri color effect to the layer. Make sure it's selected in the Effect Controls panel, then go to Animation and click Save Animation Preset. Now, go to your User Presets folder. If you're in the wrong folder, navigate to Documents, Adobe, After Effects, User Presets. Give the effect a name, in my case, Lumetri Color, and then click Save. The saved preset will now appear in your main user presets folder. To make it show up in the panel, just click the Refresh Presets button. And there we have it, the effect we need is now ready to use. Let me delete it from the Effects panel, and now let's try applying it to the layer. Everything works perfectly. Now if you want to save your adjusted effects, you can customize any effect to your liking. For example, I'll quickly tweak the Lumetri Color effect just to show you that it works. For example this is my favorite color grading look, and now I want to save it in the panel. To do this, simply go to Animation and save the preset the same way. And there we go. We've now saved our favorite adjusted effect as a custom preset in the panel. You can also save paid plugins in the panel, just save them as presets in the same way. Now it's time to show you how to install the UI panel in After Effects. Open Local Disk C, or the drive where After Effects is installed, by default, it's C drive. Go to Program Files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects, Support Files, then open the Scripts folder, and then the Script UI Panels folder. In this folder, simply drag and drop the JSX file you just downloaded. Once the installation is complete, launch After Effects. 
Once After Effects is launched, you won't see the panel until you enable it. Go to the window menu, scroll all the way down, and click on AM Film UI to enable it. And there it is, ready to use. You can leave it as a floating window and move it anywhere you want, or grab it and dock it in After Effects wherever you prefer. I hope you enjoy this panel, and that it saves you a lot of time while editing. The panel is already available on my Payhip store, so feel free to check it out. You can get it for free, or pay whatever you wish to support the channel.